can do use something that is completely brand new to the main series Pokemon titles. Something introduced into Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee to deviate it away from other main series Pokemon games. And something that has been adapted and I guess carried over from Pokemon Go. Why is that? Well for every single Pokemon that you catch in Pokemon Go you would receive three candy for that particular Pokemon. For example if you caught a Growlithe you would receive three candy. Now using that specific candy in Pokemon Go would allow you to either power up your Pokemon, level it up, or if you had a certain amount of candy, you would be allowed to evolve your Pokemon. Again, using Growlithe as an example, if you had 50 Growlithe candy, you would then be allowed to evolve it into an Arcanine at the cost of that candy. Candy works a lot differently in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. And a lot more candy has been introduced to Pokemon Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, you don't just have candy for each specific Pokemon like Growlithe, Mewtwo, you also have candy tied to each individual stat, such as speed, attack, special attack, etc, etc. Sounds all pretty simple on paper, right? This is where it gets a little bit more complicated. As you can see at the bottom, you can see that Gengar needs two Quick Candy to boost its attack speed by one. Dragonite only needs one. Mewtwo needs eight. Pikachu needs eight. And a lot of people are wondering, just how does candy work in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee? This video is going to detail just how it works. Each kind of candy focuses on a Pokemon specific stat and will boost its awakening value by one. What is an awakening value? I presume a lot of you guys who are watching this video are familiar with Eevees from previous Pokemon titles. Awakening values replace effort values in Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. The only difference is, is that there isn't a 510 EV cap in these games. Instead, awakening values can be applied to each one of your stats. Up to a maximum of 200 per stat, meaning 1,200 awakening values can be applied to a Pokemon. As an example, this is a Nidoking that has 200 awakening values in each one of its individual stats. In total, this Nidoking has 1,200 AVs across all of its stats. Whereas, for an example, this Growlithe has had absolutely zero awakening values given. This has not been fed any candy at all. Now, if you thought this was already complicated, it gets just a little bit more complicated than that. But don't worry, there's going to be a very simple ending to this video. You would think that applying 200 regular sized Mighty Candy would increase your Pokemon's attack by 200 and you'd be good. You'd be set from there on out. Unfortunately, that's not how it works. There's a cap for each specific sized candy that will limit you on how many awakening values you can apply to each stat per Pokemon. If your Pokemon is below the level 30, you can only apply 50 awakening values using a Mighty Candy. However, it does not cost you 50 Mighty Candy to get 50 awakening values. The amount of candy that you have to use rises exponentially. So to get 50 awakening values using just regular size candy, it takes 426 candy. Now, if you guys want a pro expert tip, ignore these candy. These candy are pretty much useless. It's going to take way too much time and way too much clicking to apply each and every single awakening value to each and every one of your Pokemon. It's not worth it. You're going to get arthritis in your thumb. Like, genuinely, you're gonna have to click the A button thousands of times to apply each awakening value. The advice I'm going to give instead is going to focus around Pokemon specific candy. These candy are so much more simpler than what I've been talking about in this video. And while they take just a little bit of effort to actually obtain, it is so worth it. As an example, you can see that I've got 233 Growlithe candy. To max out Growlithe's awakening values, all 1200 awakening values that Growlithe can receive, you're only going to need to use 200 Growlithe candy. 
for each Pokemon specific candy that you use on that specific species of Pokemon, it is going to buff all of its stats by one AV. So that means, in total, you only need to use 200 species specific candy on that species of Pokemon to max out its stats. As you can see, this Growlithe has had absolutely zero candy applied to it. It has not received any awakening values from anywhere. All it's going to take is 200 Growlithe candy to get it to being maxed out in its stats, in its awakening value. So I'm going to do that now. That's all I've been saving all this candy for. And then we're going to get into how we can actually obtain this Growlithe candy. I will see you in just a second. So here we are, we've finally applied all 200 candy, all 200 awakening values to all of our stats. Let's take a look at Growlithe's uh, status screen, its summary screen, and let's see just how much its stats have improved. So we're going to take a look. As you can see, they're maxed out. And I'm going to put side by side the difference in our stats. Each stat has been increased by 200. This Growlithe should easily be able to take down its Master Trainer, even though it's only level 24 and the Master Trainer should be around level 65 to level 75. That's just how powerful Awakening Values are. And Pokemon Species Candy is possible to obtain incredibly early on in the game. It is incredibly easy to obtain with the use of combo chaining, just like everything in this game. So how do you get, for example, Growlithe candy? All you need to do is have a chain of over 31, though I find you get more candy if you get the chain to about 100. That's when the Pokemon species candy really starts to rain in. We're going to wait for a Growlithe to appear and then we're going to see uh, the capture rewards. Basically, once you capture a Pokemon when you have a high enough chain, it will give you mighty candy if it's a physical attacker and it will also give you the Pokemon species uh, candy as well. So here's a Growlithe. We're going to catch this. We're on a chain of about 180 at this point. Let's see just how much candy this is going to give us. If it gives us any rewards at all, as that wasn't an excellent throw. You're going to get more rewards the more experience modifier bonuses that you are going to get. So, for example, we're on a chain of about 180 right now. We get 54 Mighty Candy, which we can sell. Mighty Candy and any other kind of candy sell for 10 Poke Dollars each. So, just from this fight we've earned 540 pokey dollars just because we can sell the mighty candy for ten dollars each and we've also received the much more important growlith candy which can be applied to each one of growlith stats if we hadn't already awaken value trained this pokemon av train this pokemon so this is on a chain of 180 i found that the most amount of pokemon specific candy you can get per wild pokemon capture is roughly six i find that when i'm on a chain of say 140 plus i'm regularly getting at least six candy or about six candy uh every single battle so once again we're going to capture this if you're looking for advice my advice really is to just sell any mighty candy, any health candy, any tough candy, any smart candy you get, whether it's XL, whether it's large candy, just sell it. It's a very self-sustainable way of earning money for Pokeballs so you can combo chain Pokemon. See, there's another 5 Growlithe candy, which is really, really nice. Make sure you're getting excellent throws, make sure you're getting fast throw bonuses, make sure you're getting technique bonuses, all that kind of stuff, and the Pokemon candy is going to rain in. This works for any Pokemon that you can capture in the wild, any Pokemon that you can combo chain. It is so useful. I, I can't say it enough. Just as proof of concept, just so you guys know just how much you can sell this specific candy for, here we are at Celadon Department Store. We are going to sell all 999 uh, Mighty Candy that we have in our inventory. These are so easily replenishable from just combo chaining Growlithe or any physical attacking Pokemon in the game. 
you can get 999 Mighty Candy in about 20 captures within a combo chain. So I recommend just selling these. These are so easy to obtain. It doesn't matter what size it is. Every 20 Pokemon you catch or so, you should be able to easily generate around 10,000 Poke Dollars, which is incredibly, incredibly nice. So basically, if you want a too long to didn't read version of this video, I would say, honestly, completely disregard things like the Mighty Candy, Tough Candy, all of these, because honestly, it's going to take too much time. What you are going to want to focus your time and energy and attention on is combo chaining the competitive Pokemon that you want. As once you capture a Pokemon above a 31 chain anyway, it's going to have four perfect IVs at least. As you can see, this Growlithe that I'm going to show you has four perfect IVs. All we need to do is get that to level 100 and give one bottle cap to its speed and it's perfect. And focus on obtaining, if you're trying to chain a Growlithe, if you're trying to get a competitive Arcanine, combo chaining, combo catching Growlithe to get 200 of the species variety candy, as I did. And as I've shown you, this Growlithe now has 200 awakening values in all of its stats simply because I used 200 Growlithe candy on it. Also, obviously, if this was an Arcanine, you'd use Growlithe candy on it. I know I'd get a question in the comment section down below asking, Oh, I've got an Arcanine. Can I use Growlithe candy on it? Yes, 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 you can. This video started off incredibly complicated due to the way the regular candy, such as Mighty, Courage, Quick, Mighty, Tough candy all work. It is much better to focus your entire attention on getting the Pokemon specific candy for the Pokemon that you are trying to AV train. If you found this video useful, a like would be really, really appreciated. Subscribe so you see more of my future Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go EV videos, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.